Now, northern Mexico's Copper Canyon is considered one of the world's most spectacular landscapes, but it's also right in the middle of Mexico's drug-growing heartland, so it's struggling to attract tourists. Al Jazeera's Adam Rady traveled to the canyon in the state of Chihuahua to see what it offers for those prepared to make the trip. Scenes from a package tour, an old locomotive, stunning canyons, and endless fields of marijuana. Um, strike that from the brochure. Violent drug smugglers are definitely not what promoters in northern Mexico's Sierra Madre want people to think about. But reminders of the danger abound. At this station, tourists are shadowed by an M16 toting guard, and the trains are often less than half full. My family almost had a heart attack when they found out I was coming here. In Europe, they think of northern Mexico as particularly dangerous. The train carries tourists through some of Mexico's most stunning landscapes and passes through the country's drug-growing heartland. Pot and opium fields are hidden in the folds of these valleys. For those who do make the journey, there's endless views of Copper Canyon, a series of ravines seven times larger than the Grand Canyon just north of the border in the U.S. But the state of Chihuahua, home to the Copper Canyon, has seen more people killed in Mexico's drug war than anywhere else. In the town of Creil, the gateway to the canyon, there's a monument to the victims of a massacre in which 12 teenagers and a baby were killed by gangsters in 2008. A U.S. travel warning for the state has scared away many potential visitors. There used to be four or five groups of Americans every day. Now there's none. One thing they're missing out on? A network of zip lines that carry people high above the canyon floor. Still, the thrills don't attract many from outside the country. All but one of the members on this tour group are from Mexico. The government has spent millions on security and infrastructure to try and draw more people here. It's attractions like this one that crisscross these canyons that officials hope will draw more tourists from Mexico and abroad. There are also the cultural attractions. Tourists can brush up alongside Mexico's Tarumara, famous for maintaining ancient traditions and for long distance running in these craggy ravines. Though drug violence isn't far away, it is rarely, if ever, spilled onto the tourist trail. The worlds of tourism and drug trafficking have never crossed paths. They do their job, and we do ours. Those doing their job in this unique landscape just wish more people would come to appreciate it.